What up, YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. We're back. I have Bunny. I have little Peony. And I have Peony's daughter, Pepper, out here. We're just chilling on this nice uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, man, look at Bunny and Peony. I love the build. And look how thick and chunky little Pepper is at four months old. She's a real short little chunker. So there's mom and daughter. And we're about to take a look at Bunny's pups as well. And Legends is out here too. But uh, we're just out here chilling. You guys know us when it comes to uh, the breedings we put together or the, you know, the dogs we're into. We like quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. And you can see quality in the females. And, you know, I also love that we, all our dogs are spread around with family. So they live as house dogs. They get a ton of attention. They're very socialized. And uh, it's just what we're into, you know. Some of these breeders that are just producing so many volumes of dogs, it's like the quality just can't be there when you're doing that many breedings, you know? So we're definitely into quality over quantity. Look at Peony just chilling. She really bounced back after her litter, real nice. Real nice. And Bunny, I mean, for Bunny's puppies being only five weeks old, you can see she never really lost too much weight. She really didn't, but Man, the little features Bunny and Peony have that we really aim for in all our productions are the really short legs, the short backs, the no tails, the flat faces. You guys know it, you know? And I think uh, this litter with Winston and Bunny is just crazy. It, it was a real nice litter. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait to show them off. And this little chunky girl, she's looking real good. She's looking real good. So, you know our studs, we have Winston, we have up and coming boy Preston. So instead of calling Bunny's son Boss that we're keeping, I might change his name to Stetson because uh, my sons are big Georgia Bulldog fans and the quarterback Stetson. And I think it just sounds good having Winston, Preston, and Stetson. So we might change that little boy's name to Stetson. And then the little girl pup, uh, I think we're going to keep that Belle, right? Belle? And then the, the girl pup that's already sold, we're going to, we call her Bobby, but you know, we. They can change the name when they get her at eight weeks old. But all right, let's go in. Let's take a look at these puppies. They're looking good. We'll leave these girls out here to play. Good girl, Bunny. Let's go look at what you did, Bunny. Bunny's second litter. Man, I saw the picture of the girl from Bunny's first litter. She looks amazing. I think they're gonna come back and breed her to either Winston or Preston. Oh, look, they're huddling up. So I think now that they're five weeks, um, in the back there, Bobby, she's a blue fawn, just like Bunny. She looks just like Bunny. And then the other two are like blue sables. Look at them, a little chunker. Starting to walk around, doing good. <laughs> here, can we put them out on the carpet here? Yeah. Just easier to show them off. Yeah, she's walking good. And it's cool because, uh, yeah, look at her. There's, there's little Bobby, a little chunker. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey girl, we grabbed the other two, Dad. Yeah. Look at that face, man. She got Bunny's little ropey face. I love it. We got them little toys. So they're five weeks old. There's uh, Stetson. Man, that boy is a hoss. We still learn a lot. <laughs> yeah, Belle. Belle is struggling. She's the tiniest girl, and she's she's still a little bit of a swimmer, but she's coming around. Look at that boy. Man, he looks good. What's up, buddy? I think one day breeding uh, Stetson to that girl Peony out there would be a real cool matchup. Because they both have... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a cool... That would be a cool breeding. Now, I think little Belle here going to uh, Preston will be a real tiny, compact, little, little pups. Hey, girl. Look at that. Look at the bone. Man, I like these pups a lot. <laughs> yeah, wide, wide cheekbones. Yeah. Really wide cheekbones. Flat faces. See, the girl's doing better, see? Yeah, she's starting to. She's starting to walk. Uh, Stetson has nice blue eyes, too. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs> this one's biting my hand. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Curious. Look at that face. Oh, yeah, I love that. She's that's tiny, that's tiny. That's, that that's little Belle. I think Belle will be smaller than Bunny. I do too. Look at that little girl. Hey, Belle. <laughs> Look at that. That is a cute little Frenchie. 
See, I'm, I'm like now where right off the bat, when I look at a Frenchie puppy, even now, like five, six weeks old, I could just see the quality in these pups. Look at his blue eyes. Man, he's got a wide head and neck. He's gonna be like the legend of Frenchies right there. Yeah. Here, will you hold him? So man, is he gonna live at your house or live at my house? Whatever you want. Look at that little boy. You're the man, not me. Holy cow, look at him. He's a serious stud. Anyone who's really looking to get the big head and the short back, He's a serious stud with some insane bloodlines, like Winston and Gaston on the dad's side. You guys have seen Bunny, and uh, I've had videos in the past with Bunny's mom and Bunny's aunts and Bunny's cousins, but that's a serious, crazy structure boy right there. Low key too. Yeah. He's got those big, big features on such a tiny little frame. I mean, what an, inc <laughs> what an incredible stud. I can't imagine. No neck. Yeah. Incredible. Oh God, no All right, man. and let's show this girl up close. His sister. Yeah, she'll be such a great matchup with Preston, who's so compact and tiny. And uh, her being the blue sable with tan points, and Preston being that like lilac merle color with the tan points. Look, she's getting a little runny nose. It's like cold and hot, cold and hot. I love her little face though. Her eyes are like on the side of her head. And look, look at this girl's over here kissing me. Yeah. Telling you, this girl's top shelf. Yeah, she's really cool. Really top shelf. Look at that. She's like a little teddy bear. I like the name Bobby, too, for a girl. <laughs> look at her. She's looking good. And look, these two are fighting. They're getting playful. They're starting to really come out of their shell. I mean, so they're five weeks old now. Look, look, he's biting her ear. They pick mm -hmm. on the little girl. Uh, these, yep. these two chunkers pick on the little girl. Poor little Bell's like, what is going on? Man, look at the short back and he's like a freaking gorilla. That is a crazy Frenchie puppy. Man, he is different. Like no back yeah, definitely he's not your average Frenchie. But I tell you what, those wide, big heads and the short backs, I, that's, I'm just into it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And real consistent bloodlines on the dad and the mom side. <laughs> you guys are going to see a lot of him. Because when they're built like that, they're just so fun to catch on video. So you're going to see a lot of that boy. I guess his, he's had a couple names. I guess his name is Stetson now. Yep. I, I just like Stetson because like Winston, Preston, and Stetson. Yeah, those are our three mini top studs. Like already, already starting to chew furniture. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, look! Look at little Bell. Who do you think's the calmest of this bunch? They're mm. all calm. They're all calm. Not the They're pretty chill. I think little Bell seemed pretty calm. <coughs> look at him. Those two. He, he's bossy. He's definitely the most aggressive. The boy. Yeah. Yeah, the boys he's don't mess around. Guy. She just. She's he's, just easy going. Look at him he's chewing on that bone. I mean, he's not mean, but he's just like the king. He's like the, he's like the leader. Yeah. He's like legend. Easy going. I want to wait to breed Peony second breeding till we can take her to him. Yes. Oh, Don't you think that'd be amazing? Totally amazing. And then her, she's bred so perfectly tiny and compact to go to uh, Preston. And I love her color too. Yeah, she's perfect for Preston. And I know who's getting her will probably have some great breeding lined up for her as well. Quality little pups. I love them all. She's Bunny's twin. Yeah. All right, let me go get the adults one more time before we sign off. I'll be right back. But yeah, they're looking awesome. All right, what's going on out here, you guys? What's going on out here? Peony, that's your future little boyfriend in there. Stetson and Peony. And Bunny, I mean, Bunny had two great litters for us her first litter was four pups her second litter was three pups so small litters but quality so i'll probably give bunny like two or three heats off and then do one final third litter when you know in like a year and a half we'll see how it goes though i'm in no rush you know that's one good thing when you're like a, a family hobby breeder and it's not your full-time job 
you know, you're not trying to make a quick dollar. You're not having to use stud fees or puppy money to pay your bills. So you can really focus on quality over quantity. You can take your time. You can wait to do like breedings and matchups that you really, you know, that you're into that you really want to do. And you can just be more patient with everything, you know? Um, a lot of people I see get into breeding. They start getting tons of females and pumping out tons of litters. And I like to be real picky with like my females. Like if I'm gonna breed them a second time, I have to be crazy impressed with their productions, with how they are as a mom, with all of that, you know? But uh, look at a little Bunsky, look at a little Bunsky. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you for watching, for tagging along. We'll keep you updated. I appreciate all the support. And we do have a surprise breeding going down now in Asheville, North Carolina. We're gonna have that real, our real mini tiny stud Nod, who's real compact, like bunny size. Hopefully in two months, we're gonna have some crazy Nod puppies coming soon. So I'll keep you updated on that. Again, we appreciate you all. We thank you and we'll catch you on the next one.